Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I had to do nearly nothing other than cleaning up a little bit to go from this image to that image in Photoshop. All right, guys, my name is Philip and let's jump right into Photoshop. The first thing I always like to do is to duplicate my background layer just in case I mess something up. So first things first, let's hit Command and J on the keyboard, which will create a copy of my background layer right here. The next step would be, and I told you at the beginning, there's not much to do for me here, but I would like to have the clouds in the top part a bit brighter, whereas I would like to have the clouds in the background just a tiny notch darker. So let's get that going first by just creating a simple curve adjustment layer and just, you know, dragging it up bring it up maybe to something like that. And once we have done that, I'm gonna invert that layer mask by hitting Command and I on the keyboard. It'll hide the whole effect. And I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard for my brush, hit X because I need to paint with white instead of black. And with an opacity of say 40% and a nice large big brush, I'm just gonna bring the brightness increasement through in the top. I don't even know if incre uh, increasement is that a word, but you, you get the idea, right? So let's just bring that through so that it's nice and bright here. Cool, let's do the exact opposite thing. So let's just create another curve adjustment layer, bring it down just a tiny bit until I'm happy enough with the clouds in the background right here. And maybe not just as bad, maybe, maybe something like this will not look back. Will not look back, will not look bad. Okay, cool, let's invert that layer by hitting Command and I on the keyboard. I make the brush a little bit smaller. And again, with an opacity of around 40%, I'm just gonna bring that additional darkness through, especially in the background of the clouds right here. Cool, that's not bad at all. I'm liking that. Maybe here a little bit more. Okay, so what we have to do now, the image is very, very blurry, right? Because it was at night, I did not have my remote control with me, so I could not use the, pro the proper bulb function of the camera. So that's 30 seconds. And uh, you know, it's, it's nah, well, I had to bring it up a little bit. So it's very blurry. So what I would like to do, I would like to get rid of this in this particular image, even though there is the danger, it may look a little bit like plastic, but that's cool. I'm down for that. Let's see how it looks. So first I'm gonna create something which is called a stamp visible, right? So I'm gonna hit Command, Alt, Shift and E on my keyboard. And that is making a copy of everything I can see onto a new layer, okay? So now we have that new layer here and that's just everything we have just done combined into one particular layer. And I'm gonna go to filter and I'm gonna go to, where is it here? Camera raw filter. And if it loads up one day, here we go. I'm just gonna go straight down to the detail section. And I'm gonna go to noise reduction. I'll just hit the halfway button just to see how it looks. I'm gonna zoom into the clouds a little bit just to see how far we get. Let's get rid of some luminance detail. Okay, let's make it a little bit more. We're gonna lose a lot of detail, but we can bring some of it back later. Maybe let's, let's try that. Yeah, why wouldn't we, I suppose? That's not bad, cool, let's hit okay. And it's gonna load up one day and it has already, that's perfect. So now we have lost a little bit of detail, but if I switch that off, you'll see, I mean, it, it helps, right? I like if there's a little bit less, less noise especially in the clouds here. I kind of like that. Cool, so let's get some micro uh, contrast into the clouds again. And an easy way to do that is, I mean, of course you could just play around with the contrast, but I always like to make a copy of that layer I just worked with. And then I go back to my filter and to my camera raw filter. And I'm gonna go down if it loads up one day here to the clarity slider. And I'm just gonna increase the clarity, right? And you can see if you look at the cloud, what it's doing, you'll see a lot more detail popping up. Also in the actual lakes, not looking bad. I kind of like that. So let's just pull it up maybe to something like that. I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna create a layer mask for this one. And I'm gonna make my brush nice and big. I hit command and I on the keyboard to hide the effect I have just created. With an opacity of 40%, I'll just decide where I would like to have this kind of additional detail in the clouds, right? And that's completely up to you. I'm just gonna pop it here, I'm gonna pop it here. And I'm also gonna put a little bit just in the front here, because I kind of like that. Maybe even here. Awesome, okay, that's not looking bad. And the last thing which I would maybe like to do a little bit is to brighten up that area in the foreground here. But that's a quick thing to do. Just get a nice curve adjustment layer, bring it up just a tiny notch, invert it by hitting Command and I on the keyboard and just bring it through just a little bit. Awesome, and that is literally all I did to go from the slightly more blurry version to the slightly more bright version, which has a little bit more contrast in the clouds. All right, all right, all right, let's, let's back up just, just a little bit because I just realized while I was processing that, that there's a lot of yellow in that picture, right? And how about we add some red just to the clouds in the very background here, because there's obviously some sort of light coming from there. Let's just assume it's the sun, which is very, very, very 
back behind the mountains already, right? So what we can do, we can just simply create a very quick hue saturation adjustment layer. And we go from our, we want to adjust, uh, adjust the yellows essentially. So let's go from master down to yellow. And let's just shift a tiny bit to the right here. Uh, not just like that, not, not even anything else. Like that's perfect. Cool, let's invert that by hitting command and I on the keyboard again. And with an opacity of 40%, I'm just gonna go in here. And I'm gonna bring that red through to some areas in the clouds, just just a tiny bit so that we oh, don't, words, so that we do not only have yellow in the clouds, right? Does that make sense? Hope it does, cool. Let's bring it back down here a little bit, awesome. And if we zoom out and we switch it off and on, yeah, I think it adds a nicer atmosphere than only the yellow. So I'm actually gonna adjust the original I had there as well. It's awesome. See, perfect, it's super useful, cool. All right, so, but that is literally the only thing I had to do, all right? All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions, and well, I suppose in this particular one, there wasn't that much Photoshop action, but you get the idea, right? If you have any questions, comments, just drop them down in the comment section below. And also, if you haven't already and you are new, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. Uh, well, I guess, as I said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you the next time, hopefully with a slightly longer video where I actually can, you know, use Photoshop properly. Oh, well, I guess I was just lucky with that picture. All right, see you next time, guys. Bye.